first quarter. The fake field goal. Billy Burke to Cedric Irvin. 22-yard touchdown. 7-3 Spartans. Michigan still trailing in the second when they go on a 95-yard scoring drive. Chris Howard busting through the hole from his own 10, taking off for 51 yards. And then watch him get the break right here. Ball knocked loose, but it comes right back to him. Michigan scores and leads 10-7 at the half. 13-7 Michigan in the third. Todd Schultz rolling out, looking to throw the ball away, but Charles Woodson steps in front of it and grabs it with one hand. It was the freshman Woodson who dropped the pick two years ago when Michigan lost in East Lansing. Makes the great catch on this one. Next possession for State. Woodson steps in front of another pass for the INT that sets up a field goal. Michigan finished with six interceptions and win it 23 to 7 the Wolves visiting Illinois second quarter 17 nothing already Boilermakers the hit on Kirk Johnson by Willie Burroughs Johnson fumbles it Mike Rose gets the touchdown 24 nothing Purdue still second quarter 24 3 Boilers Billy Dickens to Brian Alford for the touchdown 31 3 Purdue at this point they win 48 to 3 and Early in the third, 24-7 Mizzou. Corby Jones, 23 yards on the option. Tigers with a 30-7 lead. But the Cowboys defense would pick it up. Jamal Williams, the pop on Corby right there. Then early on in the fourth, Oklahoma State was only down eight now. Tony Lindsay to Alonzo Mays. After a Lindsay pass for a two-point conversion, we're tied at 30. Still tied. Under 10 left in the fourth. Lindsay to Mays again. Cowboys up 37-30. 26 ticks left. Same score. Jones finds Ricky Ross. 38 yards for the score. Game tied at 37. We go to overtime. In fact, we go to a second overtime. Tied at 44. Jones scrambling 15 yards for the touchdown. 51 44 Missouri Oklahoma State would answer on their chance Lindsay rolling and just crosses the plane for the touchdown 51 50 state still down one Cowboys go for the win Lindsay keeps it he's stuffed by the Tigers defense Missouri wins Larry Smith the coach couldn't believe it and what a victory it is so Oklahoma State their first loss is tonight Jesse Cush in a punt situation. His kick blocked by Kansas, but Joel Makovica scoops up the ball and takes off behind Nebraska blockers. First, Octavius McFarland flattens one Jayhawk. Then moments later, watch Chad Kelsey clearing a path. Makovica would pick up 20 positive yards and actually a Nebraska first down. First play of the second quarter. Nebraska, a more traditional big play. Scott Frost on the keeper on the option. Bolts up the middle, 27 yards for the touchdown. Makovica added two scores. Nebraska. Of the game, Travis Miner takes the handoff from Thad Busby and does what Warwick Dunn wishes he could have done on the last play, the last time they were at Scott Stadium. Goes for a touchdown, 87 yards, and after 24 seconds have come off the clock, Florida State's up 7-0. On their second possession, after Thad missed, Busby missed a couple of passes, he goes deep to Peter Warwick, who makes the great leaping catch for a 38-yard touchdown, 14 zip Seminoles. On their third possession, Busby fakes a handoff, and will fire it to E.G. Green. 74 yards later, stop the fight. It's 21 zip after five plays. The Seminoles have three touchdowns. And 53 seconds of possession time. They go on to win it 47 to 21. The Seminoles' number one overall defense allowed minus nine yards rushing to the Amos Zeroway in for a big day. Second quarter, up 10-7 already. Zeroway on the Statue of Liberty. Hauls it down to the one-yard line. West Virginia would score on the next play and go up 17-7. Tex Frank Beamer looking for a way to stop Zeroway. There would be no way later in the second. Zeroway bolts into the open field. 46 yards later, they finally wrestle him down at the 27-yard line. Beamer asking for somebody to trip him, do anything. The 46-yard run setting up this. Zeroway from three yards out. He finished with 153 yards on 29 carries. West Virginia up 27 to 7 by halftime. None of their drives taking long. The Wildcats, it's not some dog anyway. Second quarter, scoreless game. Robert Edwards gets the ball, sweeps left, breaks loose. 80 yards later, he's in the end zone. He also had a 44-yard touchdown run, 186 yards in the day. 7-0 Georgia after this one. Late, last minute of the first half. Game tied at 7, but Kentucky hasn't played it safe all year, and they're going for more here. Tim Couch's pass tipped by Brandon Tolbert, picked off by Ronald Bailey. A 37-yard touchdown. Bailey second in two weeks. 14-7 dogs. Fourth quarter, 23-13 Georgia. Kentucky threatening with under a minute to go. Couch picked off again by Kirby Smart. Georgia wins it. 23-13. Hal Mummy not happy. Couch, 41 of 55.
Bush. The last time they visited the Razorbacks in this game, it's, it's Auburn picking up the fumble and running it in early in this one. They pull out to a big halftime lead, and then Arkansas, and then Auburn, Damian Craig going from there to Karsten Bailey, 61 yards for a touchdown. Danny Ford, not real happy. Craig will be much more than happy. Auburn goes on and wins this one, 26-21. This game almost... Brian Leaf and the Cougars hosting Arizona in third quarter. Wazoo down 21-14. Leaf to Kevin McKenzie, 48 yards for the TD. Leaf 23 of 46, 384 yards. The replay confirms what we already suspected. It was a touchdown thanks in large part to a nice pick from the official. Fourth quarter now, state down 28-21, but they're on the move from the Arizona 17. The draw play to Michael Black, who rushed for 116 yards. Comes up just short of the end zone on the next play. He took it in to tie it at 28, so we had to OT. Arizona wins the coin toss. They choose to play D. Leaf, third and goal from the one, takes it into the end zone himself for the TD. Washington State kicks the extra point. They're up 35-28. Arizona trying to answer. Fourth and 14 from the 29. Ortiz Jenkins throws incomplete, but we've got controversy. Pass interference called on our man, Lawan Gibbons. New life for Arizona. Fourth and two from the seven. Jenkins to Rodney Williams for the TD. The Washington State lead down to one. Arizona decides to go for two in the win. Jenkins rolls out. Gets hit by Gibbons, his former high school teammate. And Leaf and Thos. Washington State gets the win. The Cougars, Rashan Sheehy. Big game for him. Takes an off right tackle for the score. Washington ahead 17-10. Sheehy, 29 carries, 169 yards. Fourth straight time he's gone over 100. Then Brock Heward getting into the action. It's Jawar and Hooker, 44-yard TD. Heward, 17-25, 219 yards. On the ensuing drive, it is the defense. Making it happen, Jason Chorak knocks it loose. Jabiri Issa. Yes, it's a touchdown, 18 yards, and the Huskies roll off 35 on it. Finally play, no Rose Bowl on the line on this one. Gary Barnett with the opening kickoff onside kick. Northwestern recovers, gets a field goal, but all the rabbits, the rest of the game were in the Buckeyes' helmets. Final minute of the first half, Joe Germain hits David Boston in the first play of a drive, then on the second play hits D. Miller for the touchdown. 14-6 Buckeyes take it to the locker room. Third quarter, the other quarterback, Stanley Jackson, hits Miller on the quick slant for the touchdown. 28-6 Buckeyes, one of five touchdown passes by three Buckeye quarterbacks. 7-0 UCLA, second quarter, 14-3 Bruins, and a crazy trick play. The entire offensive line sets up to the left. Cade McNown snaps it to Jim McElroy, 23-yard TD run, 21-3 UCLA. Late in the third quarter, 28-17 Bruins, McNown. This time more conventionally to McElroy, 58-yard touchdown. McNown became UCLA's all-time leading passer on that play as the Bruins win at 30 time. Trojan coach John Robinson trying to get a win against his alma mater. Trojans led it by 14, coming into the fourth quarter. Now up eight, under five minutes to go. Akili Smith, four-yard TD, 24-22 Southern Cal. The Ducks going for two in the tie. Smith to LaCorey Collins. It is incomplete. Ducks with one more chance now. Down two, eight seconds to go. Joshua Smith from 36 yards. And, and Smith, bomb it. As USC hangs on to win it, 24-22. They beat Second quarter, 7-0 already for Iowa sophomore quarterback Randy Reiners hitting Tim Dwight. I watched Dwight make one guy miss. 29 yards later, it's a touchdown. Reiners replacing the injured Matt Sherman. 14-0 Iowa. Next possession, Tim Dwight comes around on the reverse. Finds a wide open Damon Gibson for the 64-yard touchdown. 21 zip Hawkeyes at the half. Third quarter, 28-0 Iowa. Dwight having himself one of those days. Takes the punt finds a seam and goes 92 yards for his fourth career punt return touchdown. That ties a Big Ten record. Iowa goes on to win this one 62 to nothing. The worst.